Hello everyone, I am the Crusher Hero and welcome back to another video. Today I will be going over 5 different types of thrones that you can build in your Minecraft world. Now all of these designs are made by me, there might be similar ones out there, but I didn't look at anybody else's, I just made these. Also understand that they're all proof of concepts, so you can do whatever you want to the thrones because different thrones will look better for different people. This is just to show you what you can do and then I'll also give you some tips on how you can improve it in your own eyes. Now let's get straight into it. First we have the Warped Stone Throne and I named it that because it has a main dominance of warped colors like with the warped stem and it's made out of blackstone. Now to make this you just need to put down the blackstone polished bricks in a 2x3 area. Then after that you can build up your stairs so let me put this here. And then let me put this right here. Next you can put your warp stem in the back so it'll go up three blocks and then you can put your warp trap door close them all up then your stairs so right there right there and here and this is essentially it let me quickly grab this there we go and that is this throne. Now some extra details you can add to it is that you can add these signs around the base. Now, I personally like it with the signs to add the splash of color, but you can add or take away the signs based on how you think it is. So either like that or without it. Also, you can add blackstone walls instead of the stairs right here, and it makes it a little bit more detailed. So if that's your kind of thing, you can also do that. And lastly, another great improvement you can make is you can flip these stairs however you want. So you can make them like that if you want it to look more rounded off, or you can put them back and then you can flip these to face this direction. So all of these designs look great, it's just knowing which one's best for you. Next we have the Purper and Quartz Throne. Now this is really hard to explain, but just know it's super abstract. The goal is to have a purpose and to keep going with that purpose even if you don't understand what you're doing. Like that's how I did it. I understood that I wanted something surrounded by purpose on either side and then I figured I just want to go out and wrap back around and then using stairs and slabs I figured out a way to do it that looks kind of cool. It looks almost like I would be the ruler of some aliens if I can get on in here. Like I think I kind of would be the king of aliens but anyhow also realize that quartz is a great secondary color for any throne that you're working on and so you can just use it to kind of add a hint of normality and an otherwise really unique and strange build. That's all I can really tell you about the purple throne. It's really just a proof of concept. You can do whatever else you want with this idea and this is where I'll remind you that I'm leaving a world download in the link below in case you want to check out builds like this that I don't actually have time to build for yourself. Sometimes simplicity is better, and coming from the abstract nonsense of the purple throne, I think we can agree that the nether brick throne, while looking really simple, also has like an intimidating feel to it. It's kind of weird, but I really enjoyed this. I liked making this design a lot, so here we go. First you put your nether brick stairs down, and then you put the next three in a row. And so you want them to wrap around so that it kind of has a feeling of smoothness or however you want to call it but if you really want to you can break this staircase and add a block so if you like that disjunction go ahead and keep it otherwise you can do what I'm doing right now that's just one of the few upgrades you can make to these kind of builds then you do the same for this side with the red nether brick after you place the red nether brick down you can go ahead and start placing in slabs now slabs are kind of annoying because when you want to raise them you have to put them on top of each other and then break them and all of that nonsense. So just be patient with it and you'll eventually get through with it. And there we go. And here's the last slab. So I made kind of an ascending order of three slabs. Then you want to put in the blocks of netherite right there. This is the ultimate showing off throne because of the blocks of netherite. Then you can put your chiseled nether bricks and that's it. It's super simple. The only hard part about it is the blocks and netherite, and you can clearly switch that out for anything. It's just to look imposing, and it looks really smooth. Now, something else you can do is you can change up this design 
where you put two different opposing blocks that are kind of similar but different and it doesn't even have to be nether brick you could end up doing two different types of wood for example let me quickly grab some wood stairs so I grabbed dark oak and oak stairs and now if I can replace them here actually I'll replace this one and then this one you can see it still has that feeling of contrast and that's what really makes this build shine is the contrast between different colors so it's not even it has to be nether brick but two similar things that are different colors still shows that and if I was to go ahead and finish it it still looks good just because of that feeling of contrast so even though a lot of times as builders we like to try and stay really smooth about it sometimes you need to jar the eyes just to make it look better speaking of using different wood types here we have the tree huggers paradise I think that's the best throne name I've come up with in all of these thrones because all you really need is to grow a tree with bone meal until you get it how you want then you can break the leaves open add some fences in the back choose some nice stair designs and you've got it maybe add a different color wood for the floor just so it doesn't all blend in here just take a quick look at how it looks with all the same color versus how it looks with different colors like if you look at that it's like sure but it doesn't really highlight anything and that's another key aspect to take away from today's video is that you want to choose carefully what you highlight for example now the way that the floor is brighter than the actual throne makes it so that people's eyes kind of go straight to this they kind of look directly at this and then they can see what you want them to see you don't want them to be looking at your floor instead you want them to look at your throne it's really simple it's very easy and I do get the irony that a tree hugger wouldn't want to use wood as a build because they'd be hurting trees but you know what I've seen much worse okay don't don't go talking about that in the comments so here's how you build it you simply need some patches of dirt and then you can put your oak sapling you can bone meal it we got a pretty decent one usually you want to try and make it as like symmetrical as you want depending on what type of person you are if you want it to be natural then don't make it symmetrical but if you want it to kind of look like you tampered with it a little bit then sure go straight ahead now after that you want to add some spruce stairs right here and you really want to make it look like your builds belong if you know what I mean they kind of fit in with nature they're not supposed to strike out. Instead, they're supposed to complement the tree and make it look like it was there all along and that the tree was designed to be right next to what you made. It's really unique to be able to do that, but that's the goal. You want to make it look like everything that you've built just sort of fits straight in with what happens. And so this is really it. You can do more with the tree, like you can add the fences that I had let me quickly grab them from here or you can even go ahead and add different color wood in the background so see how I have the fences there you can go and maybe use some oak planks back here then you can fill that up and there you go it looks different now I will warn you that that makes it look more solid and it kind of ruins the nature flare that this one has because over here clearly you can see that the breeze is coming through the fences Okay, so for the fifth and final design of the massive epic thrones of today, I spent so, so much time on this, guys. I even built a room so you guys can see how it should be used, okay? Are you ready? See? Look how beautiful this house is. I mean, it is kind of just a room, but here it is. Look at how much time this took me. Isn't this such a great throne? I think I'm going to sit right here as I end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for, for watching today's video. Now if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe down below for more content like this. And next time, I'll have something better than a chair inside of a dirt house. But you know what? I don't know if you can actually beat this to be honest. This is kind of pretty nice. But remember, I am the Crusher Hero, and goodbye.